trying to figure out how I can keep this good lighting without having to sit on the couch. Or just sit like this. No, probably not. I gotta get my cute Christmas tree in the back. What the heck? Okay, now that we're all set up, I was like, maybe I should do a little tour of my Christmas decor. So, you didn't ask for it, but then again, you didn't ask for this Q&A either. So, I'm just gonna give it to you anyway. Okay, first we have this cutie wreath that I made with my mother-in-law. So cute. And then, we have a little setup over here. Here comes Amazon, you can read that. This little house, are we kidding? Um, it also lights up. I feel like it's the cutest thing ever. I'm obsessed with mini houses, so yeah, that's a fun fact about me. And then these are our stockings. I'm obsessed with them. I got them at a market and our little tree. <laughs> Um, shout out to my roommates in college because we bought this tree to set up in our apartment and now I have it and I just have some fun little ornaments. I really just want to like collect ornaments over the years of different fun memories or trips or random stuff to add to it. Then I also I made this garland. I didn't make the wood. But I bought it on Amazon and then I stained the beads. I will link the beads in the description if I remember. And this is our cutie little setup. I am obsessed with this tree right here because it's so fun and it's also like really soft. There you go. That's our basic Christmas tour. Oh, I forgot. This tree. Oh my gosh, you like can't really see it right now. Brady got it when I was on my mission. So funny. The skirt even like wiggles around if you move it. Now for the Q&A. Honestly, I really just wanted to film a video because I have been back in my watching YouTubers era. I watch Colleen Ballinger's vlogs. Like she vlogs every day and I was watching Zoe Sugg, also formerly known as Zoella. I was like, wow, I really miss vlogging, even though I don't like vlog actually that consistently, but I think it's really fun. So if you're bored and you end up watching this video, hi, welcome to my random Q and A. And let's, let's get in, let's get started. Okay, first question is best part of married life. So I would definitely say that having like date nights, I think is so fun. Like you can just go out, have your time. We have the adventure date book, not sponsored, but it is literally so much fun. You scratch off the date and it tells you what to do and then you do it and then you take like a Polaroid picture. They have been some of the most random dates ever, but they're so fun and we always end up like cracking up laughing. Um, so yeah, date night, best part of marriage. How did you know he was the one? Brady and I met in the economics class. I saw him across the room and I was like, that's the one. Um, but I feel like I really knew he was the one from honestly like praying about it and thinking about what I wanted in a spouse and he checked all of the boxes, I'm telling you, he checked them. All right, next question. What are you doing for your gut health and do you see any change? So I started really struggling with gut health issues back in June-ish. There's been a lot of life changes for me in the last year or so. And so I think that having like stress and anxieties um, just kind of all compounded together. I have tried elimination diets and those didn't really tell me anything that I didn't already know. I've tried taking supplements and didn't notice a lot of changes with at least my stomach pain. What's really helped is breathing and relaxing. Who knew that that would be more efficient than taking out food groups and taking a bunch of supplements, but health is actually pretty simple sometimes, sometimes. So doing deep breathing, self-care, have less in the stomach pain, but I'm still going through stomach pain, still waiting to hear back from doctors. It's likely a DGBI, which is a disorder of the gut-brain interaction. Basically, they're not really talking to each other 
and they're kind of mad at each other and trying to figure out next steps of what to do with that. That's my adventure. Dream job. Dream job. Okay. What is my dream job? My dream job isn't very specific, but I just love to help people and also I love psychology. So I am really excited about um, being a health and wellness coach and a holistic nutritionist and helping people out with health and wellness um, as well as I want to become a life coach, a certified life coach. I think that would be really fun too. So dream job coming soon. Okay, best piece of marriage advice you have slash have been given. This one, I think there's two. And number one, I would say date your spouse, like make priorities for date nights that aren't just like a movie night on the couch that are fun, interactive, plan them for each other. Number two is communicate. So I would say listening to understand as well as like working collaboratively through challenges uh, to come to a good point of agreement between both of you because each person has really good ideas. Sometimes they're just not on the same page. So then you can communicate, get on the same page, which is a different page than your page and their page, but it's not a page. Then you're on the same one, not this one, and then you move to that one. Or, I mean, sometimes that, sometimes it works like that, but I think I like you both. Yeah, okay, do you guys wonder? Any tips on how to have more energy when you work an office job that doesn't require coffee? I think that honestly, one of the best ways to have energy throughout your entire day, and this is like gonna sound so hippie, but get your circadian rhythms in line. Like our bodies need to see sunlight in the morning and we need to see the sunset and have things be like darker at night. So if you are getting up in the morning and going on a walk outside, getting fresh air, getting sunlight in your face, you will have a lot more energy throughout your day. But I would also add to that uh, going on walks throughout your day. Office jobs can be very draining when you're sitting all day and make you really tired. So I like to just try and get up every hour and a half and go on just a little lap around the office. I think that really helps me just be alert and it's also nice to have a little mental break. Another tip I would say is bring nutritious prepped snacks. So I find that most offices in their snack area, they don't always offer things like fruits and vegetables or like nutritious drinks. If you can meal prep, some things the week ahead whether it's like yogurt and fruit or a veggie with a dip um just things that you can quickly grab when you're hungry that will be nourishing and give you that extra boost of energy and drink water what is the meme that will always make you laugh i love this question it's gonna take some thinking though Yeah, I did some thinking and that will always make me laugh is the one where he's like, look at this graph, you know the one? And Kermit memes, I'll put it up on the screen. This one, <laughs> love every time. Yeah, really just kind of like stupid memes, I guess. Alrighty, next question. Would you rather have to sleep and not have to eat, but you still can or other way around? Have to sleep and not have to eat or have to eat and not have to sleep. Definitely that one. Yeah, food is great. Sleep is boring. Okay, my cousin Taylor is amazing at nails. She said, who would win in a nail battle, me or Brady? I think the only way to find out is have you guys both do my nails. So that's probably the only way to find out. My husband does do my nails because he's really good at designs. And I usually post them on my Instagram story, so I'm sure they've seen it. What are your New Year's goals? I love making vision boards. I'll insert a picture here of my vision board from 2023. And I'm planning on making another one because seeing my goals every day and having them visualized 
helped me so much more. I feel like at, at the beginning of the year, you can write down your goals, you can think about them, but really visualizing them and putting them where somewhere you see every single day of the year is so helpful in achieving them. So I have to do goals and I have to be goals. My to do goals are more specific, um, more measurable, I'd say. And my to be goals are just traits, skills, things like that, that I would like to focus on. I want to plan Brady and I's Europe trip and go to Europe. So that's more of, I guess, a bucket list thing than a goal, but we're hoping to do that in the fall. And I also want to figure the heck out of photo storage, you guys. I'm not alone in this. Photo storage on phones is like the most annoying thing ever because it constantly fills up and then you don't know where to store your photos and I just don't know what to do because I have Google Photos and normal photos but I don't want to pay for a bunch of storage. Please, if you have tips, leave them in the comments because I'm struggling. But I really just want to get organized so I can do like a yearly photo book and then have my pictures put somewhere safe and I don't have to worry about getting Gmail storage full notifications every single day of my life. So, tips appreciated. <laughs> oh, also I want to do a 10 minute personal study every day. When I was on my mission, we did it for an hour a day and you just read your scriptures, pray, write things down. Um, on the mission, we planned how to help the people that we were teaching and I found that this year I made the goal to read the entire New Testament word for word and I did not, I didn't even make it close to doing that. So I need a more attainable goal and so I think 10 minutes of personal study a day that can include like journaling, reading my scriptures, um, prayer, whatever, meditation, whatever I feel like I need to do that day, I want to do it and I feel like that's a good enough goal that I don't have to read something word for word and feel like if I get behind then I have to catch up and then I get stressed out and I just don't do it. Oh, I also want to open my health business, my health coaching business. So that's something that is one of my goals for 2024, which is crazy. And I won't even be certified until June, but hopefully I can get it up and running this year. That'd be great. My to be goals, I want to speak kind words all the time. I want to eliminate gossip, eliminate any um, talking down of people in my life and just speak only positively about people. So I'm gonna really focus on that and I want to be present in the moment and I want to be grateful and I also want to socialize more and prioritize friendships more, make more time for them. I feel like I'm really, really busy right now with work and studying, but I know how important being social is and I love my friends. And so, yeah, hit me up. Invite me to do something. I'll invite you to do something. Let's hang out. Let's have some fun in 2024. Yeah. Okay. Don't tell Brady. This question is, what are you getting Brady for Christmas? I think that I'll probably put this video up after Christmas. So actually he'll already know, so it won't matter. But I am getting him tickets to a Utah State game in February. A coconut syrup because yum. A billabong hat. That's really cool. We both got each other um, backpacks for Europe. We chose them out, so like he already knows what he's getting because he chose it. <laughs> I am also getting him a, it's like this train wooden puzzle. I'll try and put a picture of it right here. It has a bunch of pieces and Brady is really good at like woodworking. And I mean, he did this like stained glass thing for me he's very creative and very good at art and i figured this would be something fun for him to do he hates actual puzzles but i'm hoping that he'll like creating this like train wooden puzzle thing and then i also got him this is what i'm most excited for this fire cube 
it's like a smokeless fire and you can have it in your house and when we saw it at the swiss days market he was super interested in it and really wanted one and so i'm really excited to surprise him with that that's what i'm getting for him last question what's your favorite cereal lucky charms i love lucky charms i love that there's like the sweet marshmallows and i love that there's the like savory little pieces um i don't really eat lucky charms unless the opportunity presents itself <laughs> but i wish i think i could probably find like a healthier version like no cereal is really that healthy but a healthier version of lucky charms if i could find that that would be amazing i would really love that all right anyways that's all i have for my q a i hope that if you were bored it entertained you and i hope that you enjoyed my randomness of things and my christmas tour and i will probably be posting some really random old vlogs coming up soon like that i just haven't actually edited yet um i'm not exactly sure what those will be but i hope that you have a great end of your year happy 2024 it's gonna be great make it a great year make those vision boards if that's what you want to do very helpful and i will see you later bye